Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to solve one numerical which is based on the combination of beams. So in this system, we want to find out the natural frequency of this system. So here, there are two beams. This is beam one and this is beam two. And there is given the W is applied at the tip of the beam one, which is cantilever beam and at the midpoint of the beam, which is simply spotted beam. So we want to find out the natural frequency of the system. So as we know that the natural frequency is given by omega n equals to under root k equivalent over m radian per second. So here, first of all, we have to find out the k equivalent of the system. So for that, first beam is cantilever beam and load is applied at its tip. So for this system, for the beam, cantilever beam, we can write the equivalent stiffness of this beam as 3 E1 I1 over L1 Q. Here L1 E1 and I1 is given to us and for this, this is L2 E2 and I2. And this is simply spotted beam. So we can write the K equivalent of the simply spotted beam, which is given by 48 E2 I2 over L2 cube at mid and this is for at tip, right? So now as we know that if we apply the load at this point, this beam will deflect something like this, right? And this cantilever beam will be deflected like this. Okay. And here, this is the deflection of both of the beam, right? So if we draw the free body diagram of this system, or we can say the force applied by the cantilever beam would be K1 or KC, we can say force on the cantilever beam. is equal to Kc multiplied by delta and force on the simply spotted beam is equal to Kss which is the stiffness of the cantilever beam multiplied by delta right so from here we can say the deflection in both of the beam is same deflection in both of the components is same and forces are different. So we can say both of the beams are in the parallel system, right? So these both beams are makes a parallel system, right? So for the parallel system, K equivalent is given by KC plus KSS, right? So here, from here, we can say this is 3E1 I1 over L1Q plus 48 E2 I2 over L2 Q. So this is K equivalent. So if we put the K equivalent in the formula of omega N, then omega N is equal to K equivalent over M. So this becomes 3 E1 I1 over L1 Q plus 48 E2 I2 over L2 Q. multiplied by one by M and square root of this. And M can be replaced in the form of W. Then we can write here, this becomes 
थ्री ई वन आई वन ओवर एल वन क्यूब प्लस फोर्टी एट ई टू आई टू ओवर एल टू क्यूब मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी बाई डब्ल्यू दिस इज डब्ल्यू राइट सो दिस बिकम्स जी बाई डब्ल्यू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज ओमेगा एन फोर दिस सिस्टम 